Hey, it's Coach Colin Castell here with ShotMechanics.com, and today we're gonna learn off-ball cuts just like Dwayne Wade. All right, so there's really three different cuts that Dwayne Wade uses that I wanna talk about today. So let's start with the most simple, and that's the off-ball cut. Now, D. Wade is an absolute master at reading the defense and then timing his off-ball cut at the optimal moment. What makes an off-ball cut so great is it's a super easy way to rack up extra points. So it all begins with reading your defender, most specifically their head. The most perfect time to off-ball cut is when your defender loses sight of you. Many times this happens as they're watching what's going on with the ball and forget to pay attention to you. So then just time your cut to when your defender is fully turned away from you. Most of the time, they're not even gonna know that you're cutting and you're gonna get an easy lane to the basket. All right, here's another clip. Look for the defender's head turn. All right, so now let's talk about timing. Dwayne Wade doesn't cut until he knows the passer can get him the ball. He's not cutting right now because he knows the passer, LeBron, won't be able to see him because his back's to the basket. So as soon as the passer makes his move and can now see the open floor, Dwayne Wade begins his cut. Timing your cut like this can ensure that you don't waste it and cut before the passer's ready to give you the ball. So to recap, number one, make sure the defender has turned their head, and number two, make sure your passer is in position to give you the ball. After that, you're open for a cut. Now I know what you might be thinking. You might be saying to yourself, Coach C, no defender's ever gonna turn their head away from me. And that's just simply not true. Even some of the best defenders in the world will lose track of you and ball watch. So just be ready to capitalize on their mistake. All right, so the next cut that I love in Dwayne Wade's arsenal is the back cut. This is generally where you're getting a screen from a teammate, and then instead of curling over the top of the screen, you decide to cut back door. This works best if your defender's trying to cheat over the screen before it actually comes. So the keys to this cut are all in the setup. As your teammate's coming to set a pick, you're going to plant hard on your top foot. This will make your defender jump to fight over the top of the screen. As soon as he commits, that's when you explode off of your planted foot going back door. And to finish it off, take the quickest route to the basket. Try to take your cut in a straight line and don't banana cut or arc to the basket. Setting up a perfect backdoor cut is a great way to get a few super easy points and keep your defender honest throughout the entire game. Think about it, if you can just get two backdoor cuts a game, that's four points you can add to your scoring average right out of the game. So try setting up those cuts and see if they work for you. All right, so now I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, what if I plant, but the defender doesn't jump over the top of the screen? Now is when you hit him with a curl cut. Now curl cuts work best when a defender decides to stay and try to follow you around the screen. And there's a couple keys that can really help you out to get an open look. Now the first key is what we like to call getting hip to hip. And this means that when your teammate's setting a screen, you wanna get your hip as close to their hips as possible. Now this is important because it leaves no space for your defender to slide over the top of the screen. So they have no choice but to give you great position on the cut. Now the second key is timing. Now just like we learned before, you wanna watch the ball handler and make sure that they can give you the ball on your cut. Now there's no rule that says you have to cut quickly. You can time your cut for the optimal time when the ball handler's ready. Just remember, sometimes a delayed cut is actually a better cut and can give you a better look. So if you're hip to hip and you time your cut just right, you should be good. All right, so don't forget if you're new to Shot Mechanics, you're gonna wanna do two things. Number one, you're gonna wanna hit that subscription button below. That way you get every video that we put out and we're gonna start bringing a lot of great content straight to you. Number two, you wanna click this annotation up here or the link in the description, get a free copy of our top three favorite shooting secrets. These are shooting secrets that you can probably plug directly into your game and probably increase your shooting percentage overnight. All right, thank you so much for watching and don't forget to tune in on Friday for our NBA shooting secrets, Derek Rose edition. I'll see you there.